Hi everyone and thanks for watching my online lesson on inequalities. So there's three sections to this video. This is the first one. It says n is an integer. Write down all the possible values of n. So the first thing to note here is that an integer just means a whole number. So we're looking for what whole numbers could n be? If you look in this example, they've put n between the numbers minus 1 and 4. So I'm looking at the numbers between minus 1 and 4. Now we have to pay attention to what symbols they've used. If we look at this one, this means greater than or equal to because it's got this line underneath it. Whereas this one just means less than. So the important thing to note here is that n can be minus 1 because of this little line underneath the inequality symbol. But because this one doesn't have a line underneath it, n can't be equal to 4. So all I'm going to do for this question is list all the numbers between minus 1 and 4. I'm going to include minus 1 in my list, but not include 4. So that's minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 but not 4. So that's all the possible integer values for n. Here's the next skill that can test you on, and this is how we show inequalities on number lines. So this first inequality here, they're asking me to represent it on this number line they've given me. And this time they're talking about y between minus 2 and 3. And if you look in this example, there is no line underneath any of my inequality symbols. So y is all the numbers between minus 2 and 3, but doesn't include minus 2, and it doesn't include 3. Now this time we're not just talking about integers, so y could be 2.9, for example. So I've got to think about how I'm going to represent this on my line. It can be anything between minus 2 and 3, but it can't include these two endpoints. So what I actually do is I draw a circle where the minus 2 is to show that it can't be minus 2. And I draw a line going all the way from there up to the 3. And again, because it can't be 3, I draw a circle at the 3. Now if you look at this second example, They've given me an inequality already drawn on a number line and they're asking me what inequality is this. So this one goes all the way from minus 3 to 4 and we're talking about x. They've told me in the question as well, I'm talking about x. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write my x, I'm going to write my inequality symbols either side and I know it's from minus 3 to 4. I just need to decide whether or not to put a line underneath these inequality symbols. And if you look here, this is a circle, so this means that x cannot be minus 3. So I'm going to leave that symbol as it is. I'm not going to put an equal sign underneath. But this one here, they've put a solid dot. And the reason they've put a solid dot is because it can be 4. That's how we represent on a number line that it can be 4. So I'm going to need to put a little line underneath my inequality symbol where my 4 is. Here's the last skill that can test you on in foundation on inequalities. If you're sitting higher, there are other skills you'll need to know. But for foundation, this is the last one. So this question says, solve the inequality 4t minus 5 is greater than 11. Now, if you're secure on solving equations, then this should be no problem for you at all. Because all I'm going to do first is I'm going to rewrite this out. But let's just pretend that the question was 4t minus 5 equals 11 instead. So all I've done is replace this symbol with an equal sign. Now this, we should already be secure on solving this. So I'm just going to go through the steps. It's add 5 to both sides. This gives me 4t equals 16. So then t, I'm going to divide by 4 to find what t is. That'll give me that t equals 4. 
Now that's not the actual answer because if we remember, it was never an equal sign in the middle. I just pretended it was. It was actually a greater than sign. So all I need to do to get my final answer is replace this equal sign in this here with the greater than symbol. So my answer is going to be T is greater than 4. Now we can check that this works. I'm saying that any number where it's T is greater than 4 will work in this inequality. So let's pick any number greater than 4. I'm going to go for 5. I don't want to pick a really big number and make my calculation really difficult for myself. So let's see what happens when t is 5. Now that's 4t, so 4 times 5 minus 5 is bigger than 11. So that's 20 take away 5 is bigger than 11. So that's 15 is bigger than 11. And that's, that's correct, that's true. 15 is bigger than 11. So I know that I've tested out my inequality and I've done this right. Here's a question for you to try. Those three skills I've just shown you normally turn up in a part A, B and C of a question. So this is an example here. If you pause the video, you can unpause it when you're ready to see the solutions. Here's the solutions. So the first question, n is all the numbers between minus 3 and 1, but this time it doesn't include the minus 3, but it does include the 1. So you should have got minus 2, minus 1, 0 and 1. The second question, it was everything between minus 4 and 3, and it included the 3, but not the minus 4. So you just needed to make sure you put the line underneath this inequality symbol. And then in the last question, I just replaced the greater than sign with an equal sign, solved the equation, I got y is 5, which means that y is greater than 5. And here I just tested that out by using 6 and I got that that worked. Thank you for watching.